to be back with some more of Wine in the Morning as promised. And a special thanks to Joey Muchache and Hilda with you for those for those informative interviews. I go by the name of Bai Moses or it's Bai Mo on every social media platform. It's always a pleasure. So be sure to interact with us on our social media handles at white 54 channel on Twitter, white 54 underscore channel on Instagram and white 54 on Facebook. Don't forget the hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday because today is that hustle day, that day that we discuss legal tenders. And don't forget the hashtag why in the morning and don't forget to hit me up directly at it's by more so it's time for the moment of truth i have a filmmaker in studio and this guy uh studied telecommunication but chose to follow his passion just to make some back he goes by the name Bra braima uh -huh, i got it right yeah braima or witty yeah. and uh yes he's the ceo <laughs> and founder of boba yeah films yeah karibu sana thanks, thanks your a lot. camera is number four no. uh yes just in case i missed anything yeah this is your chance to to come correct with the titles. Yeah, so um, my name is Braima Witi. Uh -huh. uh, others know me by Bopa. Uh -huh. So Bopa is actually like uh, the the initials to my names. Mm -hmm. So B, Braima, uh -huh. O, W, O, E, T. Uh -huh. Then P, A is Paddy. That's my first name. Your first name is Paddy? Yeah. P All right, the, you're the second Paddy I'm meeting. Do you know the other Paddy? <laughs> Uh, no. is a comedian. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't know that party. All right, so you're the second party of meeting, so it's yeah. a good sign. Yeah. So uh, the initials, so your name, your name can live forever. Yeah, exactly. That, when that the business grows, your name grows as well. Yeah, that, that's actually, that was the idea. All right, yeah. so uh, studying telecommunication at Strathmore, uh, were you making films while in college still? No, actually, uh, when I was doing te telecommunications, I, yeah. I actually knew that that was like the thing I was going to do because yeah. I was so into uh, stuff like cryptography, mm -hmm. um, just websites and coding, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a time when I had to leave school for a bit mm -hmm. and then I had to like get something else to do to keep mm -hmm. me busy. Mm -hmm. So I took up photography mm -hmm. and then after doing it for a while, mm -hmm. I saw that um, maybe I can even do film instead. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm a person who likes to teach myself stuff. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I try to look for stuff and try mm -hmm. to just discover. Which is the things. case with so many computer engineers and telecommunication guys. Yeah, you have mm -hmm. to you have to be inquisitive. You mm -hmm. have to like try and find out more. Mm -hmm. So while doing photography, I was looking for books that can teach me how to like compose well mm -hmm. and all that kind so of stuff. So there are books actually. There are books for photography. Yeah, I actually read a, a book for, of like 300 pages, like without even picking up a camera. Mm -hmm. Just like what is shutter speed, what is ISO. Mm -hmm. Just trying to learn. Even before I, before I picked up a camera. Mm -hmm. And then when I went back to school, uh -huh. there's a friend of mine called Ian. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Ian, by the way. Shout out to Ian, man, uh -huh. that's, that's like a real one. Uh -huh. So Ian gave me his camera, uh -huh. like uh, no strings attached. He just uh -huh. told me, yeah, you, you can use this to do your work. Uh -huh. And then I shot my first music video in like 2017, mm -hmm. around March. Mm -hmm. It was terrible. Uh -huh. I said it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you let us be the judges of that. Uh, we'll see. Is it, it on your YouTube channel? It's on my YouTube. Uh -huh. But it was terrible. Uh -huh. And then uh, after after a while, after I did that video first, and then I did the second video after like a, a month, mm -hmm. and then the third video when I did it, the reactions that I got from that, I was like, okay, maybe I can even uh, do this full time. Mm -hmm. So I tried to look for more artists. Mm -hmm. The artists that I work with are mainly my friends. Mm -hmm. But then I was trying to look for somebody that I can grow with. Mm -hmm. And then I came across uh, this guy called Ward Baba. Mm -hmm. here, the Lua He's Trap. been here. He's been here. The He's Lua been Trap. here before. Uh -huh. Yeah, so after looking at his work for a while, mm -hmm. uh, I said, this is the guy I want to work with that mm -hmm. I can like progress with. Because I, I saw that his work has like a direction and he has a great future ahead of him. Mm -hmm. So I linked up with him. I sent him a treatment. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we shot the first video and uh -huh. people actually liked it and you yes. see my style mm -hmm. since uh i didn't have a lot of equipment i uh -huh. never used lights uh -huh. it was just camera uh -huh. lens and so most of the work is in the post production yeah most uh -huh. of the most of the like if if i'm to be very honest uh -huh. where i'm very good at is at post production editing uh -huh. so when i'm shooting mostly guys usually ask like do you have enough footage uh, <laughs> Do you think this they is really doubt because yeah, you just came with a camera? Because I, I just came with a camera, no uh -huh. lights. Uh -huh. We didn't even scout the location prior. Uh -huh. That was before. So you know how to choose your shots, and yeah. you know where how they're going to end up and where they're going to end up. Exactly. All right. So uh, working with upcoming artists, where do you get them from? So mostly uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. I just 
sometimes I just scroll through mm -hmm. f through my feed, mm -hmm. just looking at uh, what people are reposting, mm -hmm. what music is good, mm -hmm. and then also SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. uh, on SoundCloud, on SoundCloud, you can there's this feature for suggestions. Mm -hmm. So if I look at an artist that is good, mm -hmm. I go to his page and then. Uh, I think on the bottom right or something, mm -hmm. they're usually like suggestions of other artists that you can that mm -hmm. you can follow. All right, before we talk about your clientele and your Instagram and what you're doing, uh, have you ever heard of the lyrical Lemonade? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. This For guy is uh, has a similar story to yours. He came up with uh, some type of artists yeah. that were not really considered commercially viable at that particular time, but he saw a future in them. Exactly. And he scouted them on SoundCloud. Is it the template that you're following? Um, Cole Bennett is is mm -hmm. actually like one of the uh, like the visionaries for what we're doing right now. Because mm -hmm. my 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 kind of my 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 template my. My goal is to have a platform where mm -hmm. most artists can come to release their work. Mm -hmm. And then also, if you see most of my work on, on YouTube, mm -hmm. it's usually not based on my, my work per se, mm -hmm. but just collaborations. Collaborations, that you have done. yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, I, I look, uh, after looking, looking at his work for a while, mm -hmm. I thought that's also like a, a way that I could use mm -hmm. to kind of get into the market. Because mm -hmm. you see, when you collaborate with very many different people, mm -hmm. you also get more eyes on you. All right. Yeah. So assuming uh, that uh, Cole Bennett is a fan of the artists he's working with, yeah. do you like all the artists that you work with and their music? Yeah, that, that's like, I, that have is to, I have to like your music. First. A, a lot of people ask me, uh -huh. uh, Bopa, you, uh, I, want, I want you to do for me a video like what Barbers video uh -huh. and i'll be like uh can i listen to your music first uh -huh. and then they send the music and i'll be like okay you just keep on sending me music uh -huh. and then when, when i vibe when, with when it when i vibe with it I'll I'll I'll, I'll 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 definitely work on it even for free all right because the, the artists that i listen to their music at first and like i get confused and i'm like okay i have to work with this artist mm -hmm. the latest being this kid called try mm -hmm. it's called Trey. Mm -hmm. it's tri mm -hmm. but that kid has like a a very different flow from anything that's uh, there at the moment. There at the moment. From Nairobi. From Nairobi, yes. Uh, Swahili or English? It's English, uh -huh. and it's 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 just kind of it's trap, but it's it's like a Canadian flow, uh -huh. and then it's like the the Drake type of flow, and then there's some uh, UK in it. Uh -huh. It's just something. It's different. very hard to place it. It's hard. To so place. this is the latest project you're working on. No, uh, latest projects I'm working on. I've been doing, I've been shooting music videos uh, for the past like two months straight. Uh -huh. So I'm still there's a lot them. in the pipelines. I have like ten music videos in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the pipeline right now. Uh -huh. uh, I'm working on documentaries still uh -huh. in the research phase. I, I I don't want to talk about uh -huh. that a lot because I don't want to jinx it and all. Uh -huh. Yeah. So like, there's a lot. Come in. There's Let's focus coming. on the music videos. Maybe you can mention about a few artists that uh, are in the pipeline, Bopa uh, featuring or collaborations. Yeah, so um, I have SDP. Uh -huh. SDP is a, is a group of three guys. Uh -huh. Part uh, of them. I saw yeah. them. At, uh -huh. uh, so SDP, uh, they're up in Spanish and mm -hmm. English. Uh -huh. So those are kids also met via Word Baba. Uh -huh. And like... Um, I have also some works with TNT mm -hmm. coming coming out soon. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, I've worked with uh, with a few gospel artists. Mm -hmm. I never thought I'd do that, but uh, uh -huh. it just happened. It just happened. Yeah, Desian Tyron. I'm uh -huh. also working with that guy. He's uh -huh. a secular artist, also, uh -huh. kind of the Kapuka style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So right now, I'm just trying to focus on building the, the craft. Mm -hmm. I can't say I'm there yet. Uh -huh. Like this, I, I have a long way to go and mm -hmm. like a very, I have a very big picture ahead of me, mm -hmm. but I don't want to focus on that. I, I just want to focus on what, what I'm you're doing, doing right now. Currently. Staying hungry and staying yeah. foolish. Yeah. You're always ready to learn. Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> nice one. So let's uh, take a look at your Instagram. Yeah. Uh, so maybe we can go up, 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 up. Uh, Bopa dot CEO. Yeah. That is your handle? Yeah. On IG. Uh, that is the logo right there. Yeah, that's what inspired the logo? I like the colors okay, and so the um this logo, the previous version, uh -huh. it was two Bs. Uh -huh. So as uh, you can see here, it's like a letter B, uh -huh. and then the, le there's like an extension. Uh -huh. So first it was a uh, pink 
on the the red on top of the green mm -hmm. but then uh there's a time i was going through a lot of stuff uh, last year mm -hmm. and then uh, I, just, I started this be positive campaign mm -hmm. so it's just uh, a sort of uh, a campaign to uh tell people to just look at the positive side of uh -huh. things like be in the present uh -huh. Like there's a lot of uh, st stuff going on that mm -hmm. you need to be aware of. The headlines are really pathetic. Yeah, uh -huh. but there's a lot of stuff that you, you really need to, uh, to, to be aware of. So you, you need to be in the now, uh -huh. I say. So this is just inspired by the, the pluses. Uh, those are just positivity. Oh, okay. Yeah, so so B, be positive. Yeah, and then so also be the with B the pluses. Yeah. All right, that is genius right there. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. To be positive. Out of the company, you came up with a logo uh, for your company. Yes. All right, so what is the catchphrase for both uh, uh, films? It's just be positive. Be positive. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Let's carry on. I see what Baba uh, highlighted in your stories right there. Yeah. Uh, we can pause that. This is Prince, right? Yeah, that's Prince. Uh -huh. um, is there anything cooking between you and Prince? Uh, not yet. Uh -huh. uh, they're a little bit slippery. Uh -huh. Prince, Prince, and Beatty. Uh -huh. Beatty. Those uh -huh. are like two two of the newest artists that uh -huh. I'm really trying to get on board. Uh -huh. And if that happens, like I'm sure it will be magic. It will be magical for sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you do uh, graphics so, as well. Yeah. So that is one of your graphics. So um, can I explain a little bit, uh -huh. something a little bit? Uh -huh. Okay, so this, this, is an, this is an IGTV video. Uh -huh. That's also an IGTV video. Uh -huh. So this, no, if you can play that one, uh -huh. that one is uh, some of the uh, positivity stuff that I try to push. Uh -huh. So it's um, me just uh, putting myself out uh -huh. there. And just, your message to the people. Yeah, just talking, talking about uh, no, normal day life things and stuff that I'd like people to know and also just try, try to internalize. Yeah. All right. So this is... Uh, this is just some uh, editing work that I usually mess with mm -hmm. when, I'm, when I'm practicing. Mm -hmm. I usually just try to edit something and then put it on Instagram, mm -hmm. ask people how, how they think about it. And then if they like it a lot, mm -hmm. I maybe use it for a music video. Uh -huh. So, it's so just this is how you do your market research? Yeah. So you try to get to understand if people like yeah. whatever you're messing with yeah. at that particular moment. And then in the future, they see it uh, plugged in into some of your projects. Yeah, and also mm -hmm. as, a, as an artist, uh, the best way to, fi to learn if you're drawing is to share your work. Mm -hmm. So even if it's like just the first edit that I've done, mm -hmm. I usually just try and share it uh -huh. so that people can see it. And you get the reactions, and uh -huh. then you know, okay, people don't like this, so I need to work, work more, more on it. All right. Yeah. So all these things that you know uh, so far, where did you pick them from? Mostly self-taught, mm -hmm. and then uh, also just watching a lot of YouTube. Watching YouTube is a, is a, is a, good, is YouTube, a good friend. YouTube, YouTube is like, whenever I'm at home, uh -huh. And I feel like I'm bored, like I, I don't have anything to do, or if I'm just mm -hmm. tired of uh, talking to people, I just go to YouTube, just mm -hmm. scroll. Okay, here's a tutorial about how to add wings on somebody, uh -huh. and click on that, just watch it, uh -huh. and then I'll try it on a video uh -huh. immediately. All right. Watch another tutorial, mm -hmm. try it on video. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can find the website. You have a website as well? Yes. So always practicing and always learning from YouTube. Yes. That is the way. So there's no need uh, for saying uh, I can't afford to go to film school right now at this day and age. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can always you can always uh, put limits for yourself, mm -hmm. but then that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It's just like excuses. So if you if you're putting limits for yourself, you're just uh, killing your your future. Like I said, mm -hmm. like just be in the present. What needs to be done now mm -hmm. should be done now. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, I, I don't have money to go to film school, mm -hmm. but I have YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'll go and research on how to do stuff mm -hmm. and then do it right now. All right. I'll, I'll let that film school like sort, it, uh, sort itself out in the future. How old are you, if you don't mind? Um, I'm 24. I just turned 24. You just January, turned 24? In January, yeah. Wow. Youths are doing amazing things in this country right now. White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook. And don't forget the hashtag Why in the Morning. Don't forget the hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And most importantly, don't forget to tell us where you're watching us from so we can know to Mifika County, Ghani, Nagani, Nagani, Nagani. So we have the CEO and founder of Bopa Films.
if I got it correctly. All right, so uh, apart from working with artists and music videos, uh, the other, so many other projects that you're working on as well. Yeah. All right. Uh, huh. You're working with corporates by chance? Yeah, um, uh, through like, like, like I just said, how to know your progressing as an artist mm -hmm. or growing mm -hmm. is just to put your work out there. Mm -hmm. And I've, al I've also 